It's cold. My room is really cold, and I don't know why, and I hate it. I hate being cold. One of my biggest pet peeves is being cold. I just, I can't stand it. Hi y'all, it's Misty, and welcome to Fun Friday. I was going to build a fort, but then I didn't. I was gonna build a fort for y'all, I didn't do that. Also, if I build a fort, then I have to clean it up. Okay, we are going to look at and talk about photography. Is that something that I personally really enjoy? I've recently gotten really into photography. As you can see from my wall. I didn't take most of those photos. I um I took this one right here. But most of them I'm in. They're just memories that I like to keep because that's what I do. Okay. No. I need to get situated again because I was really comfortable and now not as much. Okay, so photography. Um, uh, yeah, so this is my camera. Oops, it's upside down. This is my camera. It is a Canon. Power shot. Pretty small camera. Um, it, I don't know. There's a flash and different settings and zoom and all that stuff. And I got this very nice neck strap for Christmas that I like. Um, this was one of my Christmas presents. And I use this all the time actually. I like to walk around the neighborhood and just photograph because I don't know. Let me turn this off. That's one of my hobbies, I guess. Um, like last weekend, I went on a hike with my dad and my dog. My dog Gwen. She's a golden retriever. She's so cute. Um, and we just walked around and took pictures. If y'all want to see. Like, it was just a beautiful day. I don't know if any of those were clear enough for you to see. But it was gorgeous and it was such a beautiful area and it was fun to take photos there. So my next thing, so for Christmas also, this year I celebrate Christmas, um, but just, I got this um, Insta Share, which is actually the coolest thing in the world because I can take photos from my iPhone that I took pictures with when I didn't have my camera with me and I can print them out like Polaroids. And I love it, I use it. I haven't used it a lot yet because um, the Polaroids are a lot smaller than the pictures on my wall and so I don't really know what to do with them. So I haven't printed very many, but I do have some and I love it. I'm so excited. I'm gonna find something on like Pinterest and make a project. Ah. I love it. It makes me so happy that I can just like print the photos of me and my friends just automatically from my phone and like they're clear because sometimes gotta move all this junk. I go to the local Walgreens to print my photos. Here are some that I haven't put on the wall yet. Yeah. But sometimes when I'm trying to print photos from my camera phone, my phone camera, phone camera roll, photos I took with my phone, when I'm trying to print those, they come out like blurry and really pixelated because they're a lot smaller on the phone than they are in life um, <laughs> and so it's so nice to have this little hope I didn't break it insta share printer yay 
And then, last thing I wanted to show you is this really amazing book that I love. And it's by, I don't know if y'all have heard of the blog or website or Instagram page or Facebook page. He has a bunch of social media going out right now. Um, it's called Pony or Humans of New York. This is probably backwards for you reading it. It looks backwards in the camera, but maybe when you, when you watch it, it won't be backwards anymore. I don't know. It's by Brandon Stranton. Stranton, Brandon Stranton. And let me just show you this cover. Like, so here, I took the cover page off. Look, just, it's beautiful. He is such an amazing photographer. He goes around New York and he takes pictures of just ordinary people. People like you and me are dogs sometimes. Or, and he has a little story that goes with everybody and this guy is like my inspiration. I, I think one day I wanna do something like what he's doing. Cause I just, I think he's amazing. I think he's been able to accomplish so much with this. He's been able to raise money for certain people. Right now, they have, or I think they might have just finished, I follow their Instagram, um, but they were raising school money for a high school in New York, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> um, I don't actually, I don't know all the details. I can look it up. Let me look it up so that I have the right information. <laughs> I have texts from my friends, I'm so popular. I'm not popular. Ugh, I'm cold. That's what I am. So a boy named Vital. Um, he was. So what this guy Brandon does is he stops people on the street, just average people, and he asks if he can take their pictures, and then he sits down and has a conversation with them, finds out about them, and in his blog, he ends up using a quote from memory, which I think is amazing. He must have an amazing memory. Um, but he uses, he, um, he takes this quote and he writes about it and he tells this person's story. He just sums up something about them, just like their essence. And sometimes it's just one sentence that he thought was like funny or meaningful. And sometimes it's a whole paragraph just kind of about what they're going through in that moment, which I think is so wonderful. But he met this guy, Vital, kid really. I mean, he looks pretty young from his pictures. Um, really y'all should go check it out because I feel like I'm not going to describe this as well as I should, um, or as well as like it, as amazing as it is, but he met a boy vital who, and he asked who his role model was, and he said that he really looked up to his school principal, um, I think her name was Miss Lopez, and so then for the past like week maybe, They've been working to raise money for this boy vital school and to help with the, that small community in New York and how they've been having a lot of troubles and how the students don't have like all the resources they need. And they have raised and donated, so many wonderful people out there have donated money to just a wonderful cause. I mean. This guy, Brandon, he gets stuff done. He makes, he changes people's lives for the better in so many different ways. This is something that I just, he must, I just, like, how do, um, I, I don't think I can even explain it. It's just, I have no words for how, much I look up to this man and what he's done for the lives of so many people in New York and not only New York since he's gotten popular he's been able to fund for traveling I think recently he had a trip to Africa and he raised a lot of money for people there it's just 
he does amazing things. And so y'all should really check out his book, Humans of New York. It's beautiful photography. I mean, if y'all are like into it, you should check out his blog or his website and maybe donate. I think I'm going to go and donate right now because I feel inspired. I really do. I mean, it's just... This is something that I love to look at. It's something that I love to do. I just, I think it's amazing. He just went out there and started. I mean, he's an entrepreneur. This is his job. And at first he wasn't making any money for it. It was just something that he enjoyed. And now he's doing what he loves and he's helping people. And that's what I wanna do. I wanna find something that I'm just, super passionate about something that I just really love and want to do for the rest of my life and then just do it just do it and be happy and make other people happy and I really hope that all y'all can have that just whatever it is that you like I hope. go out and do it I know you can um so yeah, that was my little talk about photography. It's something that I think is fun. You can leave down in the comments below if you checked out the Honey website or if you also like photography or what your other interests are. I don't know. Uh, like if you liked the video. And please subscribe for more videos every Monday through Friday of the week. We work really hard to put stuff out there for y'all. So. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye. Love y'all.